Now, when comfort food calls simplicity, we're told is the key. I love it. You're pointing river, with these. I'm the cross spoons. <laughs> you can't go wrong without a warming bowl of soup. <laughs> so, John Tarod. That's John Tarod. Uh, what was the name of the, the, the lady that it's been to win today? That's John Tarod, Jane. She'll never forget Not his Gino name. Not Gino DeCampo <laughs> with his ultimate selection. John, uh, new show starts. It started last weekend. Last weekend, weekend. Last started yeah. last weekend. Me and Lisa down in Australia. Lovely. Having a nice time down to the Western Australia, which was just nice. amazing. We had a really fantastic time. Uh, just travelling up and down and just on a road trip, really, and just discovering great restaurants. Does and the cuisine nothing. change a lot between coasts in Australia? I, th yeah, I think it does, yeah, because of the, the way in which Australia works. And Western Australia, to give you an idea of how far away we are from what everybody knows as Sydney and the Opera House, it's a four and a half hour flight from Perth to Sydney, which is the same distance as from London to Cyprus. Okay. Well. Now, so if you consider that you've gone through, you know, Italy and France and all those sort of things, but Australia doesn't really change much. It's just seasonal, really. But in terms of the seafood, will that change from West Coast to East Coast? Oh, yes, absolutely. And then the sort of fruit and the veg and stuff. I met this, we met this amazing person and their job, in the, they had a vineyard, they had a farm, but the first thing he did every single morning was got up and he went surfing. Oh. Then he came back oh, yeah, and then he said, do you want an avocado? And he... Cut an avocado from the tree. Anyway, there we are. That's wow. that's the weekend Lord. from now on. So three soups today. Over to you. Three soups. Now the three soups. First, I'm giving you bread and butter just to keep you happy to start oh, with. God, oh thanks, yeah, John. lovely. The, the the big secret to soup oh. is unless you're oh. making a broth, which is clear and whatever it might be, the the secret to a, a soup is its thickening agent. Yep. Because it needs body. It needs something to make it nice and thick and hearty. Mm -hmm. So the Italians are really good at it. A lot of people are really good at. It. But we're not, as Brits, soup we don't think of as a meal, and I think it should be a meal. It should, it's good for you, and you can use lots of different toppings. So we're going to start with an Italian classic called pasta fagioli. Pasta fagioli, meaning pasta and beans together. Fagioli meaning beans. Really simple. Onions, carrots, and then some um, tomatoes and celery. All goes into a pot, gets sweated down with a little bit of stock. That's a frito, is it? That, that's, yes, it's a frito. You could blend that if you wanted to, absolutely. Yeah. A little bit of olive oil and I mean a good bit of olive oil, and then a really good grind of black pepper. Now, because you're cooking beans, don't put salt in just yet. What's Why weird? That? Because they don't take up the water. They stay dry and they go hard. So it's a really, really weird thing. So if you remember that all the time when you do pulses like lentils or split peas and things, add your salt right at the last minute. Otherwise you'll get hard beans. Otherwise you get hard beans, you get hard peas, and the problem is if they're, not, if they're hard, they go on your tummy, they start to bubble up. Yeah. And you get that thing. John, anyway, this, so bread, then, this bread's <laughs> insane, by the way, John. I'm glad. Oh, a bit of soda bread, which I'll show you how to make in a second. So then what you do is, all you do is you just take pasta, mm -hmm. a bowl of pasta, mm -hmm. a tin of white beans, including its water. The water in a tin of beans is really important. It will always thicken your soup for you. Starchy stuff. I always drain the water. Don't. Keep it. It's full of protein for a start. It's what people whip up to make what's called, these days, it's called um, aqua de fava. So it's what's used to make meringues for vegans. Oh, wow. So that protein is really good. And beans are full of protein, so you don't need any meat if you don't want to. Bring that up to the boil, and then what I've done here is I've just simply kept that in the, in the oven. So what happens is you can make this as a sort of casserole-type thing, and then you just take that, and this is your first soup of the day. Oh, wow. Have you got no room? What... Shall we move something? No, no, that... Ooh, ooh, I don't want to burn you. <laughs> I don't want to burn you. Wow. Whoa! Simple. Now, that's just a big pot of soup. And that is cheap as chips. Now, if you're going to eat that, then what you want to do is you want to make sure you don't just have anything with it. You just take a, a ladle of that you want, like soup. Like, this is seriously hot, so be careful. Yep. But what the Italians will do now is they will put things like... They will put things like pesto or they will put things like parmesan cheese across I'm the top. sold on this. So you can go for it. This looks so great. So here, for yourself, mm. there's some pesto. Oh, so that's parmesan, parmesan cheese, John. Yep. There's some pesto. Stir that in with your bread, mm. and you've got a meal. Mm -hmm. Now, wow. so now we're going to make a, another really quick soup, and it's a butternut squash soup. Again, it needs body. Butternut squash itself is not not got a huge amount of body to it. So what you do is you fry off a load of potatoes first. Potatoes and leeks all together in a, in a saucepan. And give them a little bit of colour. Sounds a bit odd, but if you look inside that pot now, overhead cameraman, man, lovely person, you'll see there's a little <laughs> bit of colour, almost like the, the sort of the colour of bubble and squeak. That's going to give you the flavour. A couple of sticks of rosemary go in, and then... Thanks, Ella. Um, and then um, Ella's apparently looking after the top camera, so that's great. <laughs> thanks, Ella. Um, and then in goes some butternut squash, and then you just simply...
cover that with some vegetable stock. Stock cubes are amazing. Please don't necessarily go big by tubs of stock. Yeah. It, it, you don't need it. And a lot of the time, you don't actually need to even worry about it. You take that, you blend that up, and you've got yourself a lovely smooth soup. Now, what I've done is I've blend that up because we've got three soups to make. Yep. And I've made for you a little jug of it here. Oh, what? So you just do a thermos flask if you're doing... So you take that in a bowl. That smells delicious. A little bit... And take the rosemary off. Yep. And then what we do, you get some little... Um, croutons here. Oh, yeah. Drop some croutons across the top because Thank you can't you. have life without croutons. Sprinkle. Now, Thank I've you. also done a little pea and ham soup, which I've done here. Thank and again, this is quite simple. Pea and ham soup traditionally was made by making a stock with ham hocks. You make a stock with ham hocks and then you just tear it apart and you do all this sort of stuff and it'll take about a day to make it. Don't worry about it. I've used some dried split peas, which I've soaked for a couple of hours. Mm. I bought some ham hock you can now buy from the supermarket. Very good, that. You can buy ham stock cubes. And all you do is you just put everything together in a pot and you boil it. Then what you do, right at the last minute, you put some fresh peas in it. Mm -hmm. You blend it all together. And what you do is once you blend it all together... Ella, can you go on the top there, please? Thanks very much, Ella. <laughs> Thanks very much, Ella. So you've done that, and they puree that all together, and then you season it. Wow. Now, what I try and do is I think about the soups. Uh, pea soup, I'll use black pepper. Butternut squash soup, because it's the colour, I'll use white pepper, mm -hmm. so you don't go... You get the lovely peppery flavour. Yep. Now, the pea and ham soup, now, we've got to do this... This is, this is for you. I know that you, you requested this, Dermot. Oh, I'm going to love... take this. Here's the pea and ham soup. Is you take... Well, I need to up my soup game a little, and I love soup Same. so much. Well, I, I think the other thing... No, don't take it just yet, Dermot. Yeah, don't sorry. just take it just Ooh. yet. Not just yet, because we are now going to take a nice yeah. little bit of ham across the top. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. There, so that sits on the top like that. Thank there we God. go. There we go. He's got a little dance on, Dermot's oh. Saturday Morning Radio 2 <laughs> dance, which we all love to follow on Instagram. A lot of that, and then a tiny, tiny bit of... maybe a bit of creme fraiche across the top. Oh, wow. But just remember, if you are, whatever you're doing with soup, don't think it's not a meal. It is a meal. Well, you've pimped them up. Yeah, well, I Haven't think... Haven't you? You've added so many nice, well, like, I think we, chunky elements. Well, if you go to, say, China, you get noodles with your soup and duck, right? Yep. You go to Italy, you'll get a nice piece of bread and you get pesto. That's absolutely fine. So, you, you know, it, it's about doing stuff which actually makes the soup more of a meal and yeah. more appealing. Um, soda mm. bread, the recipe's online, but actually it's just flour and baking powder and then some buttermilk and oil. You mix the whole lot together. It takes 45 minutes to cook. You've got yourself soup and bread. Um, happy Tuesday. John, wow. thank you so much. Just like that, bosh, done. Thank you. Well, you yeah. have to go you over there so now, easy. but let me tell you, this isn't over. You hear me? <laughs> I'm coming back for you. <laughs> I'm coming back Stay for you, 100%. Alive. And if you want details of today's recipes or any of these, all you need to do is head to our This Morning app. Uh, and tomorrow, we've got Donal uh, continuing our comfort food week. He's dishing up a potato masterclass. Yeah. Potatoes! Is. <laughs>